Jennifer Aniston is very happy Brad Pitt attended B Day after she debated inviting him. Jennifer Aniston wanted to make sure all the people she holds near and dear to her heart attended her 50th birthday party, including ex Brad Pitt. Basically, every single person who Jen loves attended. That included Brad, the source says. The party was a celebration of Jen's life. Brad, for a long, was a very important part of Jen's life. She debated back and forth with friends if she should invite him, adds the insider. She was very happy that he showed up. Many of his close friends were at the party too. Even though Aniston invited her ex-husband to the bash, she didn't really pay any special attention to Brad. They hugged and chatted for a bit, but Jen was busy making sure all of her other guests said an amazing time, the source shares. Photos show the actor arriving at the hot spot with his long hair slicked back underneath a cap, making a casual entrance at the hotel. The party guests at Aniston's bash also included Pitt's ex Gwyneth Paltrow, plus Aniston's ex John Mayer, as well as the musician's ex Katy Perry, who was joined by boyfriend Orlando Bloom, George and Amal Clooney, Reese Witherspoon, Robert Downey Jr., Ellen DeGeneres, Barbara Streisand, Keith Richards, Kate Hudson. Laura Dern, Demi Moore and Jennifer Meyer were among the familiar faces at the star-studded fate, as were Aniston's friends co-stars and good pals Lisa Kudrow and Courtney Cox. The following day, a handful of Aniston's pals began wishing the star a happy birthday on social media, sharing their own sweet images taken from the celebration. Love these ladies, Hudson wrote alongside a series of photo booth gifts on Instagram in which she posed alongside Aniston and Paltrow. Celebrated this beauty last night happy B-Day Ja. We all love you so. While Aniston and Pitt had remained friendly over the years, the source said the two weren't especially close. They aren't in regular contact, beyond an occasional text back and forth to wish each other the best when there's been a new project or big event. The insider said at the time, opening up about her personal life in the January 2019 issue of L. Aniston shared that even though her relationships with Pitt and Theroux didn't last, knowing when to end a relationship has its own value. I don't feel a void. I really don't. The Dumplin' Star explained, My marriages, they've been very successful, in, my, personal opinion. And when they came to an end, it was a choice that was made because we chose to be happy, and sometimes happiness doesn't exist within that arrangement anymore. Sure, there were bumps and not every moment felt fantastic, obviously, but at the end of it, this is our one life and I would not stay in a situation out of fear. Fear of being alone. Fear of not being able to survive. To stay in a marriage based on fear feels like you are doing your one life a disservice, she added. When the work has been put in and it doesn't seem that there's an option of it working, that's okay. That's not a failure. We have these cliches around all of this that need to be reworked and retooled you know? Because it's very narrow-minded thinking.